And we yeah. now now we know Carlos confirmed it. Melissa did it behind her back. And um yeah, they wanted to be famous. The Gorgas yeah. wanted to want be to be famous. famous. Okay, so now I got the inside scoop how well that started. This is totally true. I witness blah blah blah. So before Melissa got on the show and the cameras were rolling. Melissa tried to get in front of that camera every chance she had, okay? Like she she wasn't a cast member. She was just acting. No, but was invited to certain things. It was a ladybug event at the Brownstone. And my eyewitnesses, okay, were there. Some of them were with her. And she started dancing with the bartender, like erotic type dancing to get the camera's attention. Of course, the cameras didn't really, you know, go on her. Clearly, we see that. Um, she really wanted to be on this show. So she, you know, threw out all the stops and finally got on the show. So all this bull that, you know, she wasn't trying. She wasn't. Carlos said she was messaging him on Facebook. I hear that she was jumping in front of the cameras any chance she got. She danced like a crazy person with the bartender at the Ladybug event in the Brown, at the Brownstone. When she walked into Posh, when she finally got on the show, I was away. I think I was in Vegas. And the girl that was working behind my counter, she walked in. She They were told to come to Posh because we were doing the, the Posh fashion show at the Brownstone and they were needed to be fitted. And she goes, I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Melissa Gorga, the new hot younger housewife. She said that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It was really interesting. I, I thought like she was, you know, funky and perky. And of course, I gave her the dress with the feather at the bottom. And when Teresa came in, Teresa wanted that dress. I go, Teresa, you're better off at something black and slinky and fun. She didn't buy it, but she, Teresa was a good sport and she wore the black slinky fun. She really wanted that dress. And then when Melissa walked out, I made her walk out again. I made her walk out twice. I mean, there was a lot of, you know, fun stuff going in, going around in the background of the posh fashion show and what went down. And I that's mean, I, that I've been to filmings and it's like, you could, you know, that's just embarrassing. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. If you're not on the cast, you're not going to get, they're not cameras no. not pan over to you. And no. so, I mean, that just is like thirst. So, I mean, that's just, yes. if that's, I mean, I could picture this sexy dancing, like wild, crazy. Oh dancing, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. To try to get on and the show. Now, oh. and Kath, Kathy had no, Kathy didn't want it. She didn't care about the show. She really had no interest. She never reached out to anyone they reached out to her. So now let's fast forward. Just like what Teresa did to me with the Gorgas, the Gorgas did to Kathy and Richie. So now Teresa gives Joe Gorga and Melissa the ultimatum. Me, the show, or the Wachilis after she called them cancer, Rosie and Kathy. The Gorgas dropped the Wachilis like a stale crust of bread Never looked back, never bothered with them again, never. To the point where during, like right after this, Teresa's father, Kathy's mother, or brother and sister. There's another brother that lives in Italy. I don't know if he's still alive, but back then, I don't know, only a couple of years, within the last couple of years. So Joe Judice is... Joe, uh, Joe, Gor Joe Gorga's father. These are the Gorgas. Gorgas. Right, father, Joe Gorga's father. Which is and Teresa's father. Teresa's father and okay. Kathy's mother are brother and sister. But there's another brother in Italy. He's 82. He comes to the U.S., stays with Kathy and the, the mother or the mother. I don't know where he's saying. And Kathy keeps trying to reach out to try to get Teresa's to Teresa, father to go. To the they want nothing to do with it. He's not available. He's not available. So like that, to, they get to that point where they don't even contact Kathy, like meaning I'm going to go with the Gorgas on this, Melissa and Joe. That, and, that, and they were so close to us. They acted like they were so close. They just completely threw them away. Now, you remember when the wedding, when the daughter's wedding, Kathy's daughter's wedding, they weren't in, in Melissa and Joe weren't invited, and the son called them animals. So like when you really think about what they did, Kathy kept quiet. She never came out. She never said any of this. She's a class act. They live a beautiful life, her and Richie. But I, it gets stuck in my craw because I know what Teresa did to me. And then they did that. It's just the way these, they, I don't know what's wrong. There's a missing emotional chip with Joe Gorga and Teresa. There's a, a missing chip. They can throw you away. 
They can discard people. Joe Gorga tells his best man, I sleep like a baby. You know, it's a really strange thing to me because I can't, I walk away from people if they do something really bad to me. But these people, there's something missing. Well, there's something missing. I mean, we also have Lisa Rinna and Eric. There's a lot of, I mean, go down all the franchises. There's a lot of housewives, Ramona Singer, where there's a chit missing, you know, yes. where yes. they'll do what they have to. It's not just them. But yeah, I think they have it. I, yeah, I, right. I, you know, I mean, um, right. So Teresa made them choose, you know, whoever over you. And she made the Gorgas choose her or Kathy because she discarded right. Kathy. And the yep. Gorgas obviously chose the fame. Clearly, and clearly. The Gorgas to the side. But, you know, now kick we the, have. Yeah, kick the Wachilles to the kick, side. Now, let me just. Kick the Wachilles to the side. But now we have, fast forward 10 years. I mean, you know, now Teresa's doing it to you. I mean, the Gorgas are going to be kicked to the side. Yeah. Well, you know, not for nothing. If the Gorgas would have called Kathy and Richie and said, listen, this is our, this is the way we make a living. I'm really sorry that this happened with you and Teresa. We're going to continue to do the show. I'm so, you know, Kathy and Richie are class acts. They would have been like, we get it. Nothing. Nothing. Like that speaks volumes. Like that they didn't even care. They don't give a shit. They use them for what they use them for. Um, also, also inside Insider, it is 100% true what Teresa's mom said to the friend Lisa, that Joe Gorga, the christening, Joe Gorga, the christening, first time filming, did those antics, calling Teresa garbage, all for the cameras. That's the way he really felt. But he, Teresa was blindsided by that. When Teresa walked up to him, like, let's play nice for the cameras. Fuck you, you're garbage, you're this. He wanted the Teresa table flip moment. It was all planned. I mean, it was, I had it. Listen, when I heard this, I had to delve into it because I believe Teresa's mother, Teresa's mother. And you mother heard was, this where? I can't tell you. I can't tell the viewers. I promised, but it's, it's golden. It's fact. It's fact. It's I can't fact. use the person's name. You know what? It's not fair to them. Um, but you could all only surmise, you know, so um, yeah, it's a hundred percent true. And you know what? I knew Teresa's mother. She was a lovely person. And this really, it really, uh, destroyed her what was going on with the kids. And then of course, a lot more is going to come out this season about, you know, what took place. What I mean, took place. the difference, right. And I mean, do you think, cause look, we're, we're going to, you and I have been saying something here, which I'm not sure is true anymore. And I'm going to ask you your opinion. Like this season's already filmed, the new season. We're going to watch the whole thing, the whole thing. It's going to end with, you know, this whatever yes. 